Well, hi guys, Dave Burns here again at Copper Gardens in Rough and Ready, California. Going to talk to you today about a project underway. It's very different from most of mine. Any of you who take a look at some of what I do uh, may not recognize what we're doing today. This is very different in that I'm only working on straight pieces of copper pipe in preparation for it, all of it, many a couple of 300 feet of it, to go into a larger project design and being assembled by another uh, party. Uh, the designer of which uh, called me last night worried that I may not have the time in the three days that I have to complete the project and I assured him there was absolutely no problem whatsoever. Don't worry about a thing. We've got it covered. The truth is at that moment I had absolutely no idea how in the world I was going to do this. I, I felt rather strongly without any worry that I would but I didn't know how. Um, all we're doing, I say all, is actually a lot of time consumption. I'm surfacing, recleaning and resurfacing all of the pipe in this several hundred feet so that it will take color. I'm going to color it to match work that I've previously done for that same site, same client, and, and because we want everything to, to match. All right, so that being said, the question was whether I was going to do this purely manually, rubbing and cleaning and sanding and chemically induced uh, clean, cleaner, etc., etc., or create some magical mechanical gizmo. I, cre I opted for the gizmo, a very, very Rube Goldberg gizmo. If you do know who Rube is, no further explanation. If you don't, I'm not going to explain it now. Rube, you go look it up. Rube Goldberg was the master of imagining wildly crazy things that may or may not work. Of course, in the cartoon version, they always worked, and, and that's a separate story. So what I'm going to do quickly now is pull my camera off the tripod momentarily and walk you through this setup. That's kind of being liberal. Um, and show you how silly it looks and, and yet how effective it is. So I'm going to have to, because I don't like to take the time to do splicing and editing and all the stuff that you can do with videos and I've got all the software for it. I just don't have the time to play with it. So bear with me as I move the camera around and talk to you through this. So hopefully this takes only a couple of minutes. So here we go. Over here I have a, yeah, now you got a nice picture of my finger. I have um, a motor. It's already running because it doesn't self start any longer. It has uh, no capacitor start and I have to literally pull it by hand. But notice that it's we're dropping the speed down one, two, three, four, five times up into this thing that was actually a bead roller, a cheap Chinese piece of junk that I bought from Horrible Freight and modified it and put an air thingamajiggy on it so I can activate it at will. But today I hooked it up, bolted it to my table, clamped it I should say, I didn't even bolt it, and put an adapter on one end of it that you can see over there. And I have it turning a piece. I, I found a piece of uh, radiator hose that was stepped down just about right to bolt on to this shaft, to bolt on to the pipe that I'm working on. The pipe now runs all the way across my table. It's sitting in a couple of um, skateboard rollers. And I put this thing on it to keep it from flying out of the skateboard rollers. Turns out that's probably way overkill, not necessary. I don't think it matters. Had I been spinning this a lot faster, it might have really mattered, but I'm turning it. I don't even know if you can see it. If you look at this thing, you can tell that it's turning very, very slowly. It is moving, and now I go to my uh, polishing angle grinder thingamajig, and I go to work on, on the surface. So I'm going to just show you a little bit of that. Once you see 10 seconds of it, you don't need to see the three and five and six hours of it that I'm going to have to do. But bear with me while I reconnect my camera with a literally rubber band. Rube Goldberg would be so proud of me. I should have on a uh, mask and gloves and everything, but I'm only going to do a little bit of this. So here we go. of that is that that's what I'm looking for. I've got a lot of tooth, 
binder, if you will, in the, in the material. It's clean, it's polished, it's just nice, it's perfect, it's ready to accept. I don't even have to run chemical cleaner on it. I can start putting the chemical darkening agent on it and, and, and let it go, and it'll come off very, very nicely. I know that because I've done it 10,000 times before. But the oddity of this whole thing was just to show some of you some of the crazy things we do here to help us um, meet the promises that we make. So you know what? That's about it. That was just kind of fun. If you like it, fine. If you don't, fine. Uh, that's what we do. Take care. Thanks for watching.